Okay, I did one leg. Now we're gonna do another. Okay. This line need to come right here. You see? Then leg gonna look more realistic. So don't use jigsaw. We just using a knife. I'm, I'm using this one, but clearly whatever you feel like. Like it doesn't matter what you cut a knife you use. Don't rush, because this point there's no return. If you break it off, you have to glue it back. Our both legs are looks pretty much similar and this is very close to finish we need a little bit of a cleaning of course but it's very close to be what I want it to be now let's do top obviously head too big arms too big now we're gonna downsize it What I do now, I'm sticking my nose, tip of a knife, inside and bent. And that's how I kind of carve it out. And I'm using the uh, body as a leverage, not a leverage, but a uh, point for applying my force. And when it's not enough, I put my finger behind the knife. And that's also give me a trick and remember it cuts so easy it goes like through styrofoam i like to show oil ball that's why i do this little curve like right here because that's our elbow piece it's not really obvious, but it still needed to be kind of short. We need to remove that little bit of material. Mm -hmm.
Okay. Look. Removed jaws completely. Like, here's my shoulders. Now head is small enough. Like, I had no problem with this shape. Like, this is alright to me. Maybe a little bit on the bigger side, but that's okay. I want it like this because I want it being cute. Uh, legs and paws and arms. Let's say this way. Legs and arms are roughly the same length. And like, if you measure like that, it looks more or less symmetrical. But legs got much more muscle in it. Okay, keep on going. Them. What I do is I start at the bottom corner and shape them diagonally towards top corner, like bottom left, oh, bottom right and top left for me. And I kind of cut out this corner, make it bent like that. Same with this ear. Inlay them, place them down to a body. Okay, before I go, I have some tea. It's not that warm here, guys. My leg is freezing. And I'll put extra socks. I want to show you what we accomplished so far. And I don't even know how much time we've been here. Maybe an hour and a half or so. Um, yeah. Our basic shape is here, like roughly it's here, I would say I might do a little bit of working on the head, like make it a tiny bit smaller, but remove it down a bit, ears are good, <coughs> yeah head a little bit too big. Other than that, it's almost ready for start detailing. Then I want to make it smaller. I'll do it like this.
here we have some material. Sorry, let me clean it out. There's some material, you could leave it here, but uh, I prefer to cut it out. Not too deep, because like, I want to make sure I can finish it. Means I need to be able to reach it. But when you do that, you see like, your ear become more like real ear. Same in this side you see all this material yeah that needed to be cleaned out a bit too not too much just enough to give you kind of idea of how ear would lay down a real bunny And like I said, we're already at finishing stage. We're happy with the shape. Unless, of course, something pops up, like you cut away or chip away a piece of wood, which is critical, and you would have to redo everything. Not everything, but reshape it a bit. Yeah, that's possible. To be case scenario. I've done it a couple times too. Okay, now we're gonna do eyes. Okay, let's do eyes. There's one eye. Is it? Mm, almost. A little bit higher. Mm -hmm. It looked to you, right? Now, nose. Right? Okay. For that, I have another gouge. But I have this little guy. This is giving me very good sharp lines, which is what I want to do here. gonna help me do ice it's very little tiny round 
out. All I do is I just cut it in. Don't cut too far. I'll go down for like one sixteenth of an inch at most. Like one millimeter if we talking metric. And with my little tiny flat circle, we just clean area around eye. Don't go too far. And when you clean it, remember, eye is not sitting. On, on top of the body, it's kind of indented. I make it not as steep at the bottom of the eye, kind of float down a bit, and very steep on top. and jumping all over the place like just something grabbed my attention which I don't like on the, on my carving I'm just jump on it and quickly fix it then go back to what I was doing like, it's hard to explain it's just calling like, it says okay this is need to be adjusted this is need to be adjusted and that's what I do I would say Them, like this and remember nose not sticking up on top top is smooth like here there's uh, no line on nose just sides Yeah, there's a good amount of tools I have accumulated throughout the years.
get a hook. What do I want? I want to take um, this. And just get a little bit of a fur markings. I don't want to do it complete like imitation of the fur. I'm just adding details. Would never hurt. A little bit, not too much. Okay, and here. This one is ready to do locker. That's how you do a little rabbit trying to reach for the carrot. I was actually thinking to do carrot as well. <laughs> First rabbit just so you know a bunny. I've done a few of them. But like they're always in a different pose. You do different stuff. One is sitting, another is like jumping. I don't know. Yeah. Last thing to do, sign it. I do engrave it. With like my Dremel tool, you need to sign your work. Because people need to know who've done it. K3 design my logo year and F that marks for friends and family because this is a gift or I put P which is public that yeah that's when I do it for like when people order stuff for me okay see you at next video don't forget to subscribe and any comments any suggestions or you need to know about something let me know or if you have suggestions to cut carve something let's definitely do that just uh, leave it in the comment and we can make a video on demand thank you